Hello, my name is Bennett Goldberg. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy and the director of the Searle Center for Advancing Learning and Teaching at Northwestern University. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use an iPad, connect it to a Zoom meeting, and use it as either a tablet or a document camera. You have to do two settings before you get started, and one is on your iPad. So on your iPad, you'll want to go to your settings menu, and then right underneath the general settings, where you have control center, you want to click on that. And then in control center, you want to choose your custom settings. When you look at your custom settings, check out what's in your include list at the top. Make sure that screen broadcasting or screen recording is there. And if it's not, just go to the menu below and click on the white um, plus within the green dot next to it and it will move up there. The second thing you need to do is to set up your Zoom meeting so that participants can share their screen. And so right now I'm going to share, you, share my screen and show you my Google environment. And then right here you can see that I have created screen sharing for all participants. This is in my Zoom.us environment. The way you get here most easily is through your Zoom meeting, pulling down your preferences, and then in your general settings, going to view more settings. That view more settings brings up this zoom.us environment and you can then go <clears throat> down, scrolling down through this list to find where you can make sure that participants can share. And so it's the screen sharing. I'm gonna stop sharing and go back to my Zoom environment. And so the next step in our process is go back to our iPad, choose our Zoom, and then simply join the meeting that we're in. So I'm gonna join this meeting, choosing the meeting ID, click done, join the meeting. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I don't connect the, um, the audio, I'll hit cancel there, and you don't wanna see this camera right away, and so I'll stop that video. And so now in this environment, we have um, the iPad as a participant in the Zoom session. The next thing that you have to do is go back to your, go back to your iPad and then start sharing your content. So you do a screen share, which is in the top of this, and you'll notice that, three, that a menu comes up and you wanna choose the top one that says screen. It will then say start broadcasting to Zoom and you'll choose start broadcasting and it counts down three, two, one. So right now you're seeing my screen of my iPad broadcasting to this Zoom session. I'll then go back to my Zoom or I'll go back to my main menu and now I can really choose any application I want. I could do PowerPoints, I could do very many things. What I'm gonna demonstrate first is the use of Notability. Notability is an application that I use regularly to share documents and basically to use as a lecture tool. And I can use it as a whiteboard or blackboard to discuss our assignments and all of those kinds of things. To make it a little bit easy on the participants, I'm gonna turn my iPad so it's a little bit larger and it has the entire screen. Putting it down just next to my side here, I can look at some um, recent notes. For example, here is um, a recent assignment that we did in one of my physics classes that was to analyze water waves on Lake Michigan. You know, I can highlight certain things as I go along. We can talk through it. I could define things like the wavelength of a wave between two peaks or two troughs. I could talk about different things and all of that sort of stuff. If I had questions from the students, I could just scroll up and work on it here. Similarly, if I'm just doing regular lecturing, I might have a large note and scroll forward from where we were in my last class and go to a new page and choose certain settings that I might want, perhaps a slightly thinner line. And then we can go back and we can discuss today's lesson. So it's very simple, easy to share. The other thing you can do while you're using your iPad is in fact to use it as a document camera. So if I go to um, looking at my 
my camera here and getting my hand out of the way. Um, I've set up a small station over here on, the, on my table with a bunch of books and a diving board above it. And if I just take my iPad and lean it over that diving board, putting the, um, put in the, the camera in the right position, sorry for that dizziness, I now have, I now have a document camera that I can use to share. This allows me to talk with students, talk through some writing as well, and in that sort of thing. Because I am the host in this meeting, I can then cancel this participant, which is the iPad, come back to our general meeting, and wish you well and good luck in your online learning and teaching.